hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is adaisy and if you are a new subscriber thank you very much for clicking on my channel and if you're a returning subscriber you're very much welcome so guys today i'm going to be showing you guys my face routine i'm going to be showing you guys what i do in the morning and what i do at night before i go to sleep i am currently becoming more conscious and aware of my face especially my acne scars and my hyperpigmentation so i have decided to take extra caution and take good care of my skin and my face most especially so i'm going to be showing you guys just the things that i use i use very very much very very cheap products so i'm just going to be walking through my steps with you guys so if you want to see what i do keep watching First thing I do is to turn on my tap so my water can get really nice and warm because I don't like cold water so um, my angle is a little bit different so you can really see me mainly in my mirror just because my bathroom is not so big and I want you guys to really see what I'm doing so I'm just gonna wet my face a little bit before I start washing so that and the face cleanser I use is this one I have been using this cleanser I think for two years and I help I find that it just helps me strip oil from my face and it's really good and it's it's not harsh on the skin it doesn't have any offensive smell so I just really like this cleanser just get right in here with my fingers I don't really I don't use any like brush or anything to wash my face I just use my hands I know a lot of people argue say that oh it's good to use one of those brushes those vanity planted brushes to wash your face but I mean, my hand does a pretty good job pretty decent job so I just use my hand just gonna rinse my face All done and I'm just gonna pat my face dry I haven't had pimples in a while I just really have hyperpigmentation but then I just noticed that I have some spots on my face like I have one over here I have one right here and I have one right here. I really don't know what is causing it, but I just really started using the ordinary product, so I don't know if that might be what's causing all this breakout coming out of my face. But then the other things I use for my face is I use the hyaluronic hyro, ah, acid from Ordinary, and I use the 2% one, it's this one, and I just put a few drops in my palm and just put it rub it on my face and I use this because it just leaves your face like hydrated and feeling moist your face doesn't look dry it just leaves your skin looking like really nice so I just rubbed it in my palm and I always make sure I put some on my neck too because your neck is pretty important so. Okay, and then the next thing I use is the niacinamide and zinc from Ordinary. Also, I only use this one in the morning, but then I use the hyaluronic acid in the morning and in the night. But this one I only use in the morning. Just a few drops also.
my face feels like really like my face just looks feels tight just from using just those two oils so my skin is like really really tight and then the next thing I use is my moisturizer and I use the Cetaphil moisturizer this is the one I use I use this all over my body with coconut oil I just do not rub coconut oil on my face because I find that coconut oil just makes my skin look darker than normal so I just use this one instead just put some of that on my hand and then I'm just gonna rub that in And then, last but not the least thing I use on my face is the Black Girl Sunscreen. I always put this sunscreen. I've been using this sunscreen for two weeks now. And I like it because it doesn't have that white after look that you get from other sunscreen. And of course, I just, I've heard so much about the importance of using sunscreen. And I like this one because after I use it, it just gives me that glow throughout the day and my face just looks really really good so i really like this one i don't put so much i just put that much and i put it on my face and on my neck about it guys so i will see you guys when it's bedtime for uh, my nighttime routine hi guys so welcome back it's currently uh about 7 30 p.m at night and it's still bright out because it's summertime like we have longer days and shorter nights but anyways i just hopped out of the shower and of course i washed my face with the same cleanser i showed you guys earlier that's this one I wash my face so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my night routine and let you guys see so oh drop something okay so I'm just tweaking things a little bit because I'm trying to try a new product for my face but I will not be using my ordinary cleanser tonight because the other product I'm gonna be using is pretty harsh on my skin so the product I'm gonna be using on my face is the Mario Badescu I don't know if I said that right, but it's the Mario Badescu Whitening Mask, and I'm just gonna use it. I read the reviews on this specific product, and it says that it helps to fade out hyperpigmentation. So, fingers crossed, it's really gonna work for me because I am tired of all this hyperpigmentation and uneven skin. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some. My face is clean and freshly washed, so I'm just gonna use a makeup brush and apply some. I'm applying it mainly in the area that I have like dark spots and like high neck pigmentation. I don't really have that much around here, but I'm still gonna apply a bit. So I don't use this brush for makeup anymore, that's why I'm using it. And I have some dark spots under my chin also, so I'm just applying some over there. This thing is still sticky, but we'll see how it turns out after I wash it off. So just gonna and all over my face and because this is my first time using it that's the reason why I'm not using the acid solution from ordinary just because I don't know how my skin is gonna react to it because I have extra extra sensitive skin so I'm gonna try this one first and then I'm going to use, so this one I'm going to use it, it says to use three, two to three times a week and then the ordinary one I would use it on the nights and the mornings that I don't use this one. So this one I'm probably going to be using it like Friday, maybe, some days, three times a week though, I'm going to try to use it three times a week. Oh, I'm not trying to blind myself. 
All right. Okay, it's drying pretty fast. I think that's a good amount. And let's see, the direction says, mm, it says to leave it for five, wait five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead, just chill for five to 10 minutes and I'll be back. Okay guys, so it's been 10 minutes, 10 good minutes. I like how it feels and then it just says to rinse product with water it doesn't specify if i need warm water or cold water or anything like that but it water suits me so mm -hmm. i'm gonna use warm water it's all hot warm water all right let's rinse this thing out All right, now that that's all done, I'm not using any cleanser on my face tonight. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm just gonna go in with my hyaluronic acid uh, from The Ordinary. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not gonna be using any face cleanser, so I'm just gonna go in with my hyaluronic acid that I use in the morning. I'm just gonna put about three drops. I never get it to three drops. I think I always do like five or six, but four so four drops of this just gonna massage that into my face then next I'm gonna apply some moisturizer so the moisturizer I use in the morning is a bit different from what I use at night so this I just put it in this container but then this is a mixture that I made by myself that I use on my skin at night so I just apply a little bit of it I just apply it on my face at night it has shea butter and a bunch of other stuff inside so I just apply it on my skin at night And then lastly, I use the organic cold press rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. And again, just a few drops of this. And I like this because in the morning, my skin is not dry. You know, sometimes you wake up and your face is all dry from like just rubbing your face and turning on your pillow. So this just keeps my face like really hydrated. put this all over my skin all over and that's about it that's about it for my skincare routine so I would be doing an updated skincare routine as I go most especially because I just started using the ordinary product and I'm also combining eh, what is that I'm also combining it with the mario badeski white whitening mask or i want to see how it does on my skin and if it's actually going to fade off all this like hyperpigmentation on my face so i will be letting you guys know what it looks like but until next time guys i will see you in my next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like this video share and subscribe and i will see you in my next one